everyone. This is Thomas Hopp from the uh, product management team here at Click. Yeah, so today let's talk about a new feature or a new function actually that we are shipping on July 4th and making available in our Click Cloud offering. So it's about a new function that's called Get System Attributes, right? So and what this is all about is what I'm going to show here in two slides. So basically it returns the tenant and the space domain attributes for the app, right? So this can be used in like DTAP capabilities where you want to say, hey, the app is in a specific space and for that, I want to use a specific, uh, specific data connection. You can use it because you want to fetch the domain, uh, sorry, the tenant ID and doing things like that. And I'm coming to this uh, in an example here in a second. Um, it can be used in both the data load editor, so the script and in chart expressions. And um, one bullet here is that basically, so we are going to deliver this to the engine and that engine becomes available to our client managed environment as well. So in that case, you will then be able to run the script. So there's nothing in those variables then if you save it, because obviously the tenant ID and the tenant name and the space is only existing cloud, but the script is not encountering any errors. So you can really develop an app and cloud manage and uploading the apps later to cloud without really encountering any errors. So that's just an information um, at that point, right? So let's have a look here. So what this is, so those are all the um, attributes that we are shipping that we're giving away. So it's a tenant ID, tenant name, tenant URL, the, the alias, the region, and then the space ID, the space name and the space type, right? And like I said in the beginning, so based on the space ID or the space name, you can do things like, hey, whenever the app is in a specific space, you know, load the data from data connection A. When the app is in space B, um, you know, load the data from a, from a different one so that you can really follow the DTAP flows here as well and making apps space aware. So that's one benefit. And the other ones here about the tenant ID, tenant name, so that's really where we are using it, for instance, in our monitoring apps, you know, where you can say whenever you upload and register the app to a new tenant, it fetches then the tenant ID automatically, so there's no need to make the tenant ID um, available like in the script itself. So it's really impossible to fetch it via the get system attributes. Um, and there's a couple of examples, so I'm showing you the help site here that's then going to be available. So once again, this is available as of July 4th. Um, so where you can find then as well a couple of examples, so you can find all the attribute names and you can see as well, like some examples of storing the environment attributes as a load script variable, um, you know, using them in a the chart expression directly in a load script or directly in a chart expression. So without storing them into a variable first. So that's just a couple of examples. So pretty powerful new capability coming from the engine. So hopefully that was useful and especially our developers and app developers are happy about that feature. Uh, as always, in case you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask and talk to you soon. Bye for now.